Okay, now we've got our Gateson model um, where we've defined all the mass properties. We have to start putting in the extra anatomical details so we need to make it work properly. So the first thing we need to add is joints so that the individual parts of the body are connected together uh, in an anatomically realistic fashion. So the point of this video is to show you how we do this. So let's start with the elbow joint, the left elbow joint. So this is the area we need to put it in, and this will be a hinge joint that runs um, more or less in this sort of position here. Now, the joints are defined by a number of markers. Um, in a hinge joint, uh, we have a marker that defines the center of the joint, and the x-axis of that marker is the axis of the joint. Okay, so how do we actually get that into the system? Okay, so let's make sure we're in the edit mode. The easiest way of doing this is to actually create two other markers that we can put at the ends of the axis of rotation. And then we can define the marker that we need based on those. So if we right click, we can create a marker and it will be created exactly where the, um, the cursor was when we actually clicked on the uh, clicked right clicked. So this is going to be attached to the left arm, and we're going to call it left elbow constructor one. And we'll create one on the other side, which we will call left elbow constructor two. Now we've created those two markers, we want to create a third marker, which is actually the left elbow marker. And we create it from those existing things. So we're not clicking on the surface of a, an element here. We are going to create marker, left elbow marker. And it's going to be attached to the left arm. And it's actually going to be positioned between these two markers. So we've got left elbow constructor one, left elbow constructor two, and we want this marker positioned halfway between the two. So that's the position calculated for us. And we also need to set the orientation of this marker because we want the x-axis of the marker to match the, um, the hinge axis for this. So we do that with this one here, left elbow constructor one, left elbow constructor two, and in fact, I'm going to do it the other way around because I think I'd rather have the, the axis pointing outwards rather than inwards. And this lets us calculate the orientation um, that we need this marker to be in. And we can see that that marker's there because we can turn off um, the left arm and you can see two construction markers and you can see the marker in the middle where the orientation points exactly from construction marker 2 to construction marker 1. So we're in a position to create the joint now, except joints actually are created by two markers. The two markers are in exactly the same place, but one of the markers is attached to the, uh, the upper segment, so one is attached to the arm, and the other is attached to the forearm. So again, we can go to create marker. Um, we can attach it now to the left forearm. And what we can do is we can copy an existing marker. So this is the left elbow marker. And we can just copy that marker here, which puts the orientation and the position in. And so we'll call this elbow marker 
to. The names aren't important, but they do need to be unique and it helps if they're descriptive and um, you always want to have left and right specified in your markers, otherwise it all gets very confusing. Okay, so now we've got the two markers that we need in the right places. And finally, we can create the hinge joint. So create joint. So this is going to be the left elbow joint. And it's the two markers, so left elbow marker one and left elbow marker two. And everything else we can leave. We can specify stops and things, but these are things that we can add later on um, to the model. And there it is. Nicely created, sensible sort of size. This is the axis of the joint that we've just uh, created. And we can turn this back on and you can see it's in the sort of position that we want it to be. And we'll save our model finally because it's always a good idea.